Authors of a letter warning the government of the potential consequences of a broad conversion therapy ban have spoken out after LGBT activists launched an online attack. Activists publicly shared names and church details on social media, an act known as doxing, warning people not to attend those churches, claiming they could be unsafe. One of the most prominent activists, Jaina Zan, even publicly accused them of abusing LGBT people. Speaking to the Christian Institute, paediatrician and youth worker Dr Julie Maxwell, who co-authored the letter, responded to the public sharing of her information. When you get attacked online for things like this, it's because what what you're saying makes sense um, mm -hmm. and, and so people are viewing it as, as some kind of threat and I think I think I think where it does bother me is that you know I, I I'm involved in in the, the sort of supporting children with gender dysphoria and and supporting young people generally um, because I care about them um, and because I want the best for them you know as a paediatrician you know I I always want the best for children um, and young people and and I think when you're being accused of not doing that that is hard because it, it's going against you know what, what what we want you know and and you know the, the, the bottom line is you just want the best for for young people um and and as a christian wanting the best for young people means we want them to follow jesus